Right, uh, Jaden Pitt, uh, what were the conditions like tonight? Yeah, obviously pretty hot as usual. Uh, the ball's a bit slippery, so uh, especially at the start, it was starting to slip in guys' hands. But as the game went on, it started to uh, cool down a little bit and things got, got pretty well. Yeah, can you explain to us what your role was tonight? Yeah, um, yeah I started off as a sub, obviously. Uh, I didn't come on until real late in the, in the second quarter. Then um, basically rotated through the high half forward role and, and then um, also on the wing. So um, played a bit of footy in forward line and midfield, which I, which I enjoyed. And uh, how happy are you with how you did perform tonight, personally? Um, yeah, I guess I was reasonably happy. I um, was lucky enough to get a couple sneaky little goals in there, which was which was pleasing. But uh, from a team perspective, um, can't be more than happy with um, our indicators, contested ball, stuff like that. We're really happy with. So um, if we continue to keep doing things like that, it should have a, a good 2 then 12. Yeah, you mentioned that you kicked a couple of goals. Um, I think you got three. Uh, is that something, is that a part of your game that you've made a conscious effort to improve, to kick more goals? Uh, not in particular, um, but going forward I always like to you know, make an impact on the scoreboard, so yeah, I was pretty happy with um, three goals tonight. And uh, you mentioned uh, you went through the half forward line a bit there, but the pressure in the forward line was fantastic tonight, wasn't it? Yeah, guys like Josh Mallinson, Lockie Neal, Matty DeBoer, just putting on that enormous pressure, it just makes it so hard for the opposition to get out of their back 50, so if we can keep doing that then we're looking at more scoring opportunities and obviously more inside 50s which is going to help win games. And um, there's a bunch of players in the squad, yourself included, that are all battling for a spot in that round one team. Uh, quite a few of them did well tonight, but that's a good thing isn't it, a bit of competition? Yeah definitely, that's what, you, that's what we're always after, a bit of competition, especially fighting for spots, it's a good sign. And. Um, yeah, it's a sign that we're looking for at the club, getting guys on the track and then being competitive. So um, if we keep, obviously keep that up, then we might uh, take a few wins uh, into the 2012 season. Thanks, Jaden. Uh, Matt, what were the conditions like out there tonight? Pretty hot, pretty muggy, very humid. Cooled off a little bit by the end, but pretty steamy to start with. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the whole team really lifted its intensity after quarter time, didn't they? Yeah, well, Richmond came out firing and they really put it to us early. I think they were dominating the stoppages and dominating most aspects of the game, but we were able to get back on top of them and just played our structures. The, um, the pressure on the ball carrier, especially starting from the forward line, that's a real trademark of our game, isn't it? Yeah, it's been in the, in the past with Maney and, and Ballas, but now we've got Mello and Pity and guys like that coming through, and um, we're strong again tonight, and it'll be a focus for us going forward. Yep. Having some of the big names out, like yeah, your Sanderlands, Pavlic, um, this was an opportunity for the guys to show that they're not reliant on those older blokes, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's exactly right. We're, We've got a lot of depth in our side and um, yeah, it gave opportunity to the young guys. Spurry played really well and um, guys coming through like that will get opportunities going forward in the NAB Cup and that's what's the great thing about the NAB Cup, so it's good. Yeah. Uh, your own game, you must be happy with how you went tonight. Yeah, a little bit rusty. Well, I played three quarters and got through that alright and just as a loading, a load management thing they pulled me in the last quarter but um, it was good to get through three quarters and the body's feeling really good so I yeah. look forward to playing next week hopefully. Yep, uh, it's in Victor Harbour. Mm. Uh, looking forward to getting out to... Yeah, I don't even know where that is. In Adelaide. It's right? in Adelaide, yeah. Good play. A bit of regional footy again. Yep, yep. Um, you mentioned uh, that you, you're feeling good. You had a bit of an interrupted pre-season. Is there any lingering effects with that? Oh, I'm just a little bit behind on the fitness. Obviously, the guys that have been able to train all the way through the pre-season are a little bit ahead of me. But um, I'm hoping that a bit more match time next week and in the weeks to come will sort of bring me up um, cherry right for round one. Speaking of round one, it must be must be heartening to know that we're going to add guys of the likes of uh, Pab, Sandy, Barlow, Mundy to this team. Yeah, it's really healthy. We've got a lot of depth at the moment, and with those guys back, I think we're going to be um, quite a strong force this year. Yeah, and um, big question: uh, When will you, be, will you be visiting the hairdresser? <laughs> no, I'm liking the hair at the moment. Not sure what everyone else thinks, but no, it's going to stay for a while. Okay.